Hey, I'm Dan Holden, and I'm here today with Thomas Parkhill of Precision Physical Therapy, and we're going to show you how to do a kettlebell swing. So in the kettlebell swing, a couple prerequisites that you have to have are first, the hip hinge, and I explained that earlier in the kettlebell deadlift video, so if you haven't seen the hip hinge yet, Check that one out, it's under the kettlebell deadlift. Um, another thing that's really important with this one is the amount of weight you're using. We're going to start off today with a 40 pound kettlebell. It doesn't necessarily need to be extremely heavy, but it does need to be enough weight to get a good amount of weight shift and snap from the hips. Okay, so I'm going to have Thomas pick up the kettlebell. He's going to start with his hips back behind him. And as he starts and goes through this motion, as he stands tall out of the hip hinge, He's going to develop a quick snap from the hip, and as he snaps the hips forward, that momentum from the snap is what's going to direct the kettlebell out in front of him. A lot of people that do this exercise, they want to tend to lift with their arms out in front of them, and that's not what we're going to do at all. All of the weight that's shifted from the hips is what's going to give the momentum to bring the weight out in front of him. So Thomas is going to go through a few reps of the kettlebell swing. And if you watch the snap from the hips, that's what's directing the weight out in front of him. He's not necessarily lifting with his shoulders. The breathing patterns here are as the kettlebell swings down in between his hips, he's going to breathe in. And as he snaps from the hips and the kettlebell moves up, he's breathing out as well. He's keeping a nice straight back. His neck is also staying in line with his back. And that's the kettlebell swing. <laughs> 